4 e6 and we've had this queen's gambit declined the semi slough and bishop b7 bishop g2 a6 castles bishop e7 knight comes to e5 and now castles he took took rook takes bishop takes and now i guess you could take this pawn but arjun was happy with this maybe this is his preparation uh, so he went queen a1 and now arjun is thinking here what to play in fact there are possibilities one is you can save your bishop <coughs> by coming up or you can go knight bd7 for bishop b7 the first scary thing looks like queen entering the seventh rank yes that looks definitely uh, very scary so that's the reason why that was not played uh, and so right now after queen a1 this is um, still something that is being thought of what to do here Uh, knight bd7 was the other move which you suggested, right? Yeah, knight bd7 is a possibility here. But then you are again giving up the c6 pawn. So this is one possibility. Uh, the other moves here, instead of playing, moving the bishop, could be to just take the pawn in the center. Queen takes pawn and that attacks the knight so if you go and take here I would take here and then after bishop f4 trying to win this I have queen c5 and once you take here I was wondering if I can go here but there is queen a7 but queen b8 no and then e7 is oh hanging. actually so, so many hanging pieces pins x-rays discos all the possible themes happening in this opening yeah this one is very very uh, nasty opening and I think uh, Arjun seems to have come well prepared to this game uh, to play Parham I think a very important game because Arjun is one point behind the leaders and two wins can maybe help him in this event although it now depends on how Gukesh also plays and also Sagar today Arjun versus Maksudlu means top two seeds are playing against each other so they are the highest rated in this event and even winning a game gives you good rating. So for Parham, that way also it matters a lot if he beats Arjun. Yeah.
energy for. Yeah. He's a little bit nervous because you have to be a little bit nervous before you play it. Oh, it. yes. He yeah. goes for wow. that the best move in the position. Giving up a piece. Yeah. Oh, Oxford plays knight g5 check. Oh, knight g5. Nice. He played it. But what if rook takes? Yes, he has seen it. He has seen it. I agree. He may not. King f6, king f5. Oh, nice. Yeah, he did play that king f6 king march. right now. You also win the king of the hill and you win the chess game. It's both bonus points. <laughs> Queen f8, that is knight f6 back. Check. Sorry. Wow, that's happening on the board. Oh, resigns. Maxudlu resigns Resign? there. Resign? Uh, it's done? Yes. Arjun has won. Yeah, it's a tough destiny of uh, ambitious players. That sometimes you are uh, you winning, sometimes you're losing. True, true. Can't have it all. If we could have Arjun, that would be great. Yeah, good game by Arjun today. I think he provided the only decisive game. Actually, in this tournament, every round has it had at least one decisive game. <coughs> Someone has won, so that has provided always the excitement. Uh, and I like how Maksudlu is still analyzing there. He is not that, and he's smiling. Wow, that's so nice. Yeah, he takes the losses very well. You have to, Sagar. If you are playing like Parham. Yeah. You are voluntarily inflicting uh, occasionally a loss upon yourself because you are taking too much risk. You have to be fine with it. Otherwise, uh, how will you, you continue doing it? If, it? if it hurts you very much, you will at some point stop yeah, taking all the risks. Right. So Parham is just... Uh, he is very, uh, very sportive in that sense and he is taking the losses and uh, he keeps going fearlessly next time as well. Yeah, true. True. Tomorrow he will come they don't all, hurt. Guns, all guns blazing. I think tomorrow he faces 